please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Uh, Udin Morning, you know, Reliance is one stock that was assuming market leadership over the last couple of months. In fact, it's gained about 15% this month already. But given that the results have been a bit unimpressive, do you get a sense that the up move could be stalled? For leadership, Sonia, I think you will need to get back to what the signs are over the last couple of days. Because, you know, in a sense, this pullback was led by IT very quietly and in the midst of a lot of disbelief. It's IT actually which delivered the pullback in the Nifty and led it from 10,000 to 10,500. Now it appears that banks are beginning to pick up some of that slack because the bank Nifty, the losses of the bank Nifty were actually being neutralized by the, bank, by the IT index. And only in the last couple of days, the bank Nifty has started to flourish once again. And with it come the mid caps because the market had got quite narrow around 10,500, 10,600. And around the breakout, you can see signs of uh, mid caps performing once again. So if I had to look for leadership and for trading gains right now, I would say that for the near term, as long as the Nifty is in this trend of uh, moving higher towards 10,900, it will probably be the financials and the mid caps which might lead it. Uh, and uh, IT might not give up too much, too much of its gains if the rupee remains here. Oh, yes, in okay, fact, actually, uh, there is another, uh, you know, because the money markets are closed, yes. we haven't noticed there has been easing of FPI, foreign investment in bonds. Mm. Uh, they were forced to buy bonds only with residual maturity of three years. Now that is knocked off, and uh, uh, they can buy uh, uh, any kind of bonds with or without residual maturity. Uh, and uh, it's just that the very, very low maturity below one year should be not should not be more than 20%. Mm -hmm. I think overall the rules are will, if the market had been trading, mm -hmm. be interpreted as bond positive, mm -hmm. which also could be a positive for the yes, banking yes. stocks, uh, which we are not able to gauge now because the bond market is not open. Mm -hmm. But uh, my sense is all that is also working. Uh, oh, oh, there there yes, was an ECB uh, easing of rules and very importantly, I think mm -hmm. FPI easing of rules. Oh yes, so a lot of these stocks looking good. By the way, the other space which has been doing well of late is Pharma and uh, once again Vokart is a stock which is making highs of the morning so that also has been quite an interesting space for last few uh, days now there also there's uh, quite a bit of buying. Uh, uh, well then so on uh, PSU banks uh, you know where, where are you now because uh, the thought process is at 93 perhaps uh, uh, more than worst is priced in for PNB. Uh, and similarly for other PSU banks. Uh, or you reckon that uh, this is again a space where at best there will be trading rallies? I remain where I have been, Anuj, for some time, that you will get these periodic rallies. And, you know, sometimes this whole logic of the worst is in the price is not the best rationale to be buying stocks. Uh, you also have to ask yourself, what is the best that can happen? So. Uh, and on that question, you stumble a bit on public sector banks. Uh, you know, sometimes you can think that if there are some NCLT resolutions, there will be some money. But in the medium term, does one see a massive gain in market share from these beleaguered public sector banks from where they stand today? I'm struggling to think that. So, uh, you know, you're maybe right in saying that the stocks have fallen enough and they could get a bounce. But that's not the saying as saying, that's not the same thing as saying, they have a clean growth trajectory now for the next couple of years, and therefore you should be owning them as businesses. So the business or the investment rationale continues to be weak, though there might be some trading rationale in buying a couple of them. Okay. Before we let you go, then uh, I just wanted your view on Interglobe Aviation. I mean, after 10 long years, there's a, suddenly a void in leadership. Uh, is this a time to panic for investors, or do you think that life will just move on? Because fundamentals have been good. Life will, move, life, will move, life will move on, Sonia, but I think these things are very overstated, mm -hmm. particularly in spaces like aviation. Uh, and who knows, there's an expat CEO coming on, why should we not give him the benefit of doubt? You, you've seen what has happened to Jubilant Foodworks after a management change. Uh, it didn't appear that likely then when it happened, did it? So uh, there might be some turbulence, taking nothing away from what Aditya Ghosh has achieved in his decade-long tenure. But I'm not a big fan of writing off stocks. I mean, if there are fundamental reasons, like you believe that load factors will go down and crude will go to 90, squeezing Indigo's margins, that's a different story. But to say one man stepped out without knowing who that new person is to write off a stock, I'm not a big fan of that line of thinking at all. Okay. No